been nearly two years since I made my video uh, about my trials of my Hebridean self-steering gear and my uh, trip to the Netherlands crossing the North Sea and um, unfortunately I've been uh, uh, suffering from a long-term illness which has meant that I haven't done a huge amount of sailing since then and I haven't had a chance to continue working on it um, until really uh, the last month or so and um, I thought it would be worth mentioning a few things that I've done. Now the first thing is I'm back to using the original pendulum with, uh, which has a wing section and has a, is a balanced pendulum so it has a balanced profile and the thing that's made that work is this bungee here and this is in the design and John recommended it and I didn't have a chance to try it before but it does seem to sort things out um, it does seem a bit strange because it basically counteracts the balance of the pendulum but it is adjustable which means that you can you can uh, change how it behaves um, we're currently in a in the Solent uh, we're going upwind um, we're in about a force four and it's a bit wind over tide so it's a little choppy um, but the Hebridean's steering perfectly well that's been all day now I find if I slacken that uh, bungee off it does start to misbehave again but with a bit of tension on it I, don't, I can't really convey how much tension on it but that gives you some idea with a bit of tension on it um, it's all is well um, that, that hideous uh, pile of uh, this is just a shock cord and that, that weird knot isn't really a knot it's just me using up the line because I haven't uh, finalised the length and I was going to cut it at some point but just, just don't worry about that otherwise most things are the same the other, the other change that I've made is um, there used to be a, a double block here to, to, to provide the crossover and I realised that I could attach these two fair leads to the mount um, and those seem to work really nicely there's a lot less uh, bits knocking about and my my rail has got is uh, clear which is good um, you have to offset them a bit so that they don't chafe each other and um, finally um, I did experiment with some p-clips and some stainless steel eye bolts um, to run through um, but what I've come what I realized was that they'd had too much friction but these um, anodized aluminium eyes have very low friction and those are on um, spliced Dyneema now the, the length of the blue Dyneema is deliberate if you look at that operating you can see that the eye is actually just moving back and forth without the rope without the line really sliding through it so for small course corrections no friction is involved uh, no no rubbing is involved the the blue line will just sort of flex a little way swing backwards and forwards and if we follow the line across I've got the same thing over here if I indicate with my toe I put I put uh, an eye bolt here on the um, placing one of the bolts on the push bit to foot and um, again a bit of uh, the dyneema and a loop and that's that's really good that's now a good fixed position which is a has a good angle on the tiller and that works really nicely so it's kind of like my latest iteration of working out how to fix these things if we look down at the uh, drogue attachment there I st I've still got a block there and it's on a, a shackle um, it's not, I've got a, a, a twist, um, what do you call it, a swivel, and it's not quite in the right angle. Uh, I might solve that by just replacing the shackle with a soft shackle, rather than uh, doing anything fancy. And the other thing I've done is, at the, uh, the attachment of the lines to the trunk, I was attaching them further up where this, line, this uh, white rope is. 
but I've put these um, those little uh, attachments on there right down at the bottom just to increase the sensitivity and that does seem to be it does seem to have done that, it does really increase the sensitivity a bit, reduce the which has improved sensitivity in light winds a bit. Now you might be wondering where my outriggers are if you didn't see before. Um, the standard Hebridean has arms basically making it a cross shape and that makes perfect sense except my boat is uh, too small and there isn't room for them. They just uh, clash with the uh, the uh, rail here and especially with my stern light. So I've got this alternative arrangement because I've got these attachment points way down there. I can do without them and, uh, because I get a, a levered, I get a good angle of pull to those pulleys down there. That's not, a, that's not what you'd normally have. Works for me. We're sailing along at, uh, well, very slowly. Well, my log doesn't even read our speed, but you can see we've got a little bit, if you look at the pendulum there, you can see we've got a little bit of motion. Maybe, maybe half a knot, maybe half a knot. The wind's barely perceptible on my, on my uh, face. And we're sailing along in the Solent. I've got the Solent almost to myself. Not many people out this evening. It's that kind of time of the evening when the when the uh, wind dies right down. But the Hebridean is keeping an excellent course. I'm able to adjust it by small amounts and get the boat to point in exactly the direction I want. So it's working, it's working in these almost, almost no wind conditions when we're barely making way. With barely any movement here, you can see some of the movements coming just from rocking in the sea, but uh, there must be some wind pressure biasing that enough to adjust the pendulums enough to make a difference. So it's marvellous, marvellous really. I, I'm, always in, I'm always impressed. Now for something a bit different. Still in the Solent. We're in the uh, West Solent. That head is uh, Bewley. We've got about a force five gig with six gusts, it's building. Um, we've got a lee bow tide, so what's happening is the tide is running quite rapidly out west. And the wind is blowing east. And we've got, we've got a westerly wind, so we're getting a quite a big wind over tide situation. That's whipping up this short shot here, which is very steep. Leaping and uh, some of the waves are very steep. It's calmed down a bit actually. So we've got uh, only one panel up, and um, it's interesting to watch the Hebridean working in this in these conditions because this is quite different. The boat's getting chopped, thrown about. I've, uh, I've reduced the angle of the, the vane just to desensitise it a little bit to the wind. But you can still see it's doing some quite extreme things. Sometimes the boat gets thrown and the pendulum gets pushed by the waves. And that gives a good hard pull on the tiller. My, uh, a couple of my knots come undone, so I need to make these rings much more secure. Got to sort that out. But um, basically, it's doing. It's quite a bit looking like it's going completely nuts. It's doing the job. Um, that's good, steady heading. You can see the red roof town. I think you can see the red roof town. That's like on the Beely River it's, uh, over there somewhere. The camera might not do very well at. Uh, showing it to you. But we're basically heading straight for it and we have been all the time. Great. 
still working but in very different conditions right this is like i'm gonna say maximally shaky this is like really shaky conditions like we're getting thrown around it's not actually as severe as it might look the um, the weather's quite warm it's mostly that this very choppy situation with the wind over tide is throwing us around a lot and that makes things uh, exciting and it makes it challenging for the self-steering I think because the boat's getting thrown around so much and yet it compensates really well I mean, it's basically a, a trusted part of the boat. Um, I use it all the time for all sorts of things. Um, I, I trust it. I, I go forward with it, set it up, it works. It doesn't do anything weird. It does what I expect, which has changed a bit over time, but basically it's excellent. And uh, I'm very pleased to have it no hesitation in recommending to anyone else who wants to have a, some steering gear that they, under, they understand that they build and they can repair and maintain themselves and experiment with. It takes a while to make but it's worth it. <laughs>